Hi guys, anyone that's watching currently or anyone that will be watching in the near future. Um, this will be part three of my Let's Play of Head On. I'm going to go ahead and load up this game. Uh, hi, here we go. Um, I'm not expecting the game to take too, too much longer than this. I have, Maybe not tonight? I don't know, it depends. But if not tonight, then definitely... Thursday. I think I should be finishing the game. When we last left off, I, um... I fought, um... Oh, man. I think it was Nathiel. She's a warlock. She's the one that was responsible for, I guess, bringing all the bad guys into here. So we found out it wasn't really, like... <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. We found out it wasn't the shadow girl that we thought was the bad person. Or Rose. She might be a bad person, but she's actually kind of sort of on our side. Because she doesn't like Nathiel. 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 I'm not even sure if that's the name. I think it's really close, though. It definitely started with the N and ended with an EL. Well, <clears throat> she found me and we fought in some kind of a dreamscape. Or in our minds or something. And I defeated her, and she ran away. And when we woke up, instead of being where we were trying to go, we ended up outside. So now we're trying to fight our way back into our home. And reach the uh, the crystal. Because if we don't reach it first, apparently Nathiel is going to do something bad with it. And Abhal, the the shadow girl, does not think that uh, Nathiel should have free reign over something like that. Oh. Oh, we already read that last time. It's talking about the person in charge of the wards and how there was an order to bring them down. Which we now know was fraudulent, most likely. All part of the greater plot. That statue looks cool. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It looks cool. It's like, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, but... I believe my goal is to bring the Crystal Wards back up. And of course get further in. Clear out all the mooks. Cool. 
find us some cream fungus to eat. It's the best snack. I want to see a fan art of, of Zahn here, like, just devouring cream fungus like an anime kid. Holy Jesus. Part of me was like, it's really quiet in here, and for a second I thought maybe I'd already been in this room. Freedom seeds. <laughs> you can't run. It's the queen of metal. Did it, did it, did it. That is a dead dwarf. Ah. Yeah, see, there's the other door for that place. And here's a room I definitely was in. This track specifically, it, it fits this game really well, but it also has like a serious Unreal vibe. Which makes sense, but it also makes me want to go back and play Unreal. I need to focus. I'm looking for a shovel because I saw a shovel through a window. There's definitely a way up there. I see cream fungus. Where there's a fungus, there's a way. Oh, it's a ward. I remember now. I've seen one of these before. Earlier in the game. Definitely a way up there. Uh, 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 
I do remember them talking about a cracked window, so that might be my path that I take to get in out there eventually. <laughs> oh, right. That's warded. Okay. Uh, Should have noticed that before. That's my fault for running through here like a crazy madman, though. I guess if anything spawns, they're gonna have a bad time. Okay, I think we are all cleared out this way. Oh, is it turned? <laughs> Scared me a little bit. <laughs> Holy crap! I'm gonna die. <laughs> well, that's not good. Mm. I think... Yeah. You will not defy our metal god! I did waste like a ton of time out there like trying to figure out how to get on the ledge. So I haven't actually done much. Get a quick save running for this. Oh, there's this side. <clears throat> Bring up those turrets. worked a little bit better than it did the first time. Still not ideal, but take it. I don't know what that is. Crystal key. Okay. Crystal Ward activation. Crystal Ward may only be deactivated in a direct order from the Lancer Council. Should a powerful magical ritual require to be performed, the commanding officer will be instructed directly on when and for how long should the defense be lowered. 
Reactivating the ward can be done following three steps. First, the commanding officer and her aide will use their keys on the two switches that control the power crystal sources. Secondly, the maintenance crew must manually turn on the four support pillars at the ward's base. The pillars can be activated at any time, but should not stay idle for hours. Lastly, the middle switch will activate the ward. Warning, do not activate if any large-scale magic is being performed in Vale or its proximity. check that out. We will check that out right now. Well, it is certainly a cool feature, but there wasn't actually anything under there. I haven't received word from our cultists tasked with taking over the Dwarven Fortress. The attack is either still going or these souls have perished in the snow before they can even get to draw still. It is Nithriel. Okay. Mr. Snithrio has specifically ordered to keep this base sealed off to any visitors, as it is critical to our ability to teleport reinforcements in. I have blocked the switch for the mountain gate with a magical seal. Nobody has to tamper with it. Yeah, especially no visitors. That's right, Bob. You're going to have to wait till everything's all clear before you let your girlfriend come hang out. Not every day can be bring your girlfriend to work day. Or boyfriend. We're not judging, Bob. Just gotta follow the rules. That's a spicy pepper. Oh, no, I don't want to end the game. Alright, so... Ah, we got the root key. There we go. That's what was different. So we actually need to be back in this room. And activate the first energy source. Which these particular crystals hold a lot of energy. I believe the uh, the document said that the bigger they are, the more unstable they are, but the better they are at powering large objects. Which <laughs> <clears throat> a magical ward protecting its teleportation in the area would count as a pretty large object. Okay. So go around. We could go this way. I'll still take it. What was in here? Oh yeah, there's that room. There it is. So I bet that leads out onto that ledge out there. I need to remember my keybinds. And they had a, <laughs> a hell of a fight over cards, and someone got their heads smashed into the window. <laughs> Probably did not feel good. <laughs> ah, darn it. There we go. Nom 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 nom. With this. That's a shovel. I 
bet the person assigned to this job wasn't very happy about it. Alright. I remember that room. Alright. So we have a shovel now. I feel like I remember seeing a shovel, a place they needed a shovel somewhere, but I don't know if I'm just misremembering or not. But, but I will find it. That was my canister falling on the ground. You are a shovel-finding master. <laughs> I don't really remember where, so... I guess in the meantime, I'm just gonna wander around. Not the first time I've evicted you guys from here. I did say four. I thought there was only three. Walk from the other side. Walk from the other side. Uh oh. No, 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 no. The scroll lies hidden behind the chimney. You find that it is written in human language. Good. You found. I don't know if I'm good at riddles, I'm just really lucky. Alright. Let me get something to write on here. Because I have two other things I gotta find. Second clue is 05. Third part lies over the hibernating bear's nose. Huh. You can actually see down the chimney. I'll admit it, I'm kind of lost. What? So I'll just kind of hunt around until... Hmm. 
Let's go back there just in case. Damn it. room. I guess that's the bad part about cutting out in the middle of the playthrough. Hey, pass by the archive when you have time and bring your tools too. I've heard some strange noise behind one of the wall panels. Better check to make sure we don't have water leaking in. Oh, hey. Not that simple, I guess. Hey! No? Oh, yep, yep. Better switch to something that isn't explosive. Man, it's the worms again. So whatever happens, I cannot end the level until I find all those clues. Jeez. It's the crystal key! Okay. I was about to say it's the crystal key, but I wasn't 100% sure. Oh, 
Um, I don't see a hibernating bear. All right, so you found the last node. This one should point you towards the bag's location. The last clue is ET. Search around the crates and you'll find it eventually. Good luck. Lancer Dendra's Log, rotation 509, day 238. Seems like I can hardly have any silence around the base this week. Just as I was about to set off to the Dwarven Fortress to negotiate for further trades, I have to deal with Udra stirring another fight, this time with Griva. They have managed to crack up one of the windows inside the barracks, but as I want to lay discipline, I've discovered something far more worrying. A note. Hidden between a shutter and an iron panel and written in human language. Upon reading it, my expectations have been confirmed. My bag has been stolen. I've already tasked the Reavers to search around for other such notes and devise a plan to ambush and root these rats out. I have a really bad feeling about this. I know I should see to this matter by myself and try to find out where my bag has been hidden, but dwarves are keen on punctuality, so I'll have to leave now. <sighs> Oh, no. I've done done it now. All the way back up the stairs. At the speed of sound. If you ever wonder why she runs so fast, you only have to look at her image. She has some seriously strong legs. They're actually quite glorious. Ah. Oh no! Looks like it for screwing around. Oh, lie, I've seen worse dodges. <laughs> um, there we go. I am mildly injured, by the way. Only mildly. I'm only missing half my health. It's nothing. Just a flesh wound. There, I got it. I definitely missed either I missed a secret or I saw it and didn't remember it but I think I remembered that so that's a spoon Huh. 
we go. I think they're angry with me. Small healing potion. Oh, man. It's something. I don't think that's what I was looking for, but I will still take it. Damn! The portals don't work so well anymore, do they? Oh, they're burning out. Okay. Mountain gate controls. Kind of just looking around for more scrolls at this point. Well, that explains how she cracked the glass. I guess what's her face is probably lucky she didn't die.
You were a secret finding machine. Ma. Let's try this one. This is the crates. Is that search near the crates? Oh, it's not the only crates, but... <laughs> ah, that's too good. finding machine. I may have had my microphone muted. I apologize. <laughs> I also apologize that this ends up being a waste of time, but this is a popular place to hide elevators, so we didn't hide the secrets. Unfortunately, I was incorrect. I don't think the first clue was out here. Huh. So I will confirm that it will definitely take Thursday as well to finish this. 
Not that I'm in any rush, because I'm actually having a lot of fun still, but... I'm probably going to end up spending a lot of time on this level trying to find the secret. That would be a really funny joke, by the way, to have, like, numbered secrets and then just not put one of them in. It's like that joke about painting numbers on pigs and letting them go, but, like, leaving one of them left out. It's like, do you know how crazy that would drive people? And they're just sure that there's something they're supposed to find. It would be a little mean, but funny at the same time. Not here. God, tell me, I will tear this place apart. I think I pretty much checked through all here already, but just in the interest of completion. Unless they were meant to be found out of order. Oh, you were lucky. Managed to survive an extra two seconds. I've only found one secret on this whole level. If people watching this later on want to fast forward it, I will not blame them. But I really want to try and figure out these notes. try to find more secrets too. I'm sure that leads to a secret that's counted, but that still only gives me like half. Of course, those of you watching live are kind of a captive audience. All right, so it's gonna make you want to go camping. I mean, <laughs> not all the dead cultists everywhere, but the tree stumps are on a fire. <laughs> ah, doesn't it remind you of a picnic? <laughs> Uh, 
these aren't powered, but there is room enough behind them for something to exist. Not that that means for sure that anything does. Broken my door panel. <laughs> I check on here. Yeah, I remember. Oh boy. Stay away from me. I don't want to crush you beneath my feet. a very emotional moment when I stepped on that magic rat. Very emotional. I don't think that was a zero five. I think it was a OS. So OSET at S C N N L, and you got a closet, which I think was this way. Just in here. Ah, you see what looks like a really drawn map of your surroundings. A certain X marks your attention. And try to copy it of your own map. We even have a shovel! I don't know where the first note was. But, oh, no, 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 no. Wrong way. I don't know where the first note was, but I'm sure it's somewhere obvious I've passed by numerous times. But that's okay. We got this figured out. Whoa! That was actually a really nice secret to find. Never say no to ammunition. Alright, so we still have two secrets that I haven't found in this level. We've already found the one related to cliffs. Or I don't know if that was even... I mean, it was a secret, but I don't know if that was even a recorded secret. It was just a room with a guy brandishing a blade. I wonder if that was the guy that stole her bag. <sighs> but... On the one. 
Do I try to find it or do I call it quits here? <sighs> <sighs> I could be at this another half hour trying to find that one last secret. I hear something. Our Lady of Metal. <laughs> Choker of the beast. I need to get better at picking up this ammunition. Alright. We got 75% of the secrets. I could do better, but it was going to result in me spending a lot more time, so I'm going to look. One more time through here. I think I'm okay. We'll go ahead and move to the next level. Shame that I can't find it, but I don't want to spend any more time on this level. Not that, again, it's not enjoyable, just that I do want to see what goes on next. Activated the ward, and now we are passing back into the mountain via a very scenic tunnel. A broad grin took over the warrior's face as the ward's mechanism came alive. The ground began to rumble, the gleaming white crystal emerging from underneath. Unholy pentagrams began to fizzle and blow up. The few lucky Kotos who had managed to teleport through in time were swiftly butchered by the half-orc. The rest who warped as the ward unleashed itself simply died before they could even finish their interdimensional journey. Striking this lethal blow to the invaders' logistics would indefinitely change the tides of the salt. Zahn couldn't help but wonder if Apalth was involved with her waking up so close to where this foul invasion seems to have begun. Nonetheless, she was nowhere to be seen now, and there was little time to be wasted. She marched on upwards, knowing of a dwarven fortress atop the mountain that was allied with the Iron Division. Those stout warriors would surely aid her to retake Vale. Half a day later, a thick heavy mist and cold breath of snow greet her. She is getting closer to the Dwarven Fortress. Excellent. Oh wow, it's very white. Very cold looking too. Want to go back, it's too cold. To search all the corners of this forest. <laughs> 
One moment. Okay, I'm back. There was some kind of issue with OBS. You guys might have seen that as a hiccup on y'all's ends. I apologize for that. Nice. Oh, yeah. Bam. I have to not waste ammunition. To Ice Peak Fortress. Sorry if that's disorientating a little bit. Oh. Turned around there for a second. frozen. That's a little bit disturbing. Again, like, I really love the pacing in this game. It's just like frenetic action for one level, and then the next level, you kind of just looking around. Wooden plank. So, like I said, it doesn't 
Like, it was constant action, like, non-stop for, like, every single level. Like, it might start to actually get a little bland. But this kind of keeps it fresh, kind of keeps things mixed up. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Holy crap! Just do it. <laughs> Holding a flamethrower, but there might be an application at some point for using fire. But I don't think you can just willy nilly burn stuff and count on there being an effect. Well, it sure is green down there. through that way. Ah, here we go. I haven't been through here yet. Can I tightrope that? That doesn't look like it. Hmm. Oh, I gotta fix the bridge. Uh. Uh. Okie dokie. Uh. Uh. No more huh. jokey. Hmm. Well, this seems like a bad idea, but... To have a ring of elemental protection. She... Hola, senor. Now that I know stuff can randomly come back to life when it is a fire applied to it. Man, the fire didn't even help them, man. It just died. I don't feel bad for them. It's like... Pity, but righteous pity? If that makes any sense. Hey, the hammer key. I didn't need the ring after all. sure how to get back up. Probably more planks, too, but... Oh, man, it looks warmer in here.
Last entry of the book is signed by Dinosaur Dendra. The journey has been a mess. The road's been nearly entirely swallowed by snow, and many of the ice caves have collapsed. I even lost my lance in a cave-in. And perhaps I would have lost a lot more if I hadn't shielded myself in time. It feels unnatural for the ground to tremble like this, and the dwarves wouldn't normally slack with tending to the path of their fort. Perhaps Earth Mother Ava can shed some light on what's going on. I didn't find her at home, so she must be inside her grove. I'll spend the night here and pay her an early visit tomorrow, since the dwarves are expecting me by noon. I have a cyan crystal. <laughs> can't even shoot them. Like, it's just, it's too funny. It's just way too funny. Well, that's the, um, looks like the grove that way. Study the Ancients by Earth Mother Ava. Chapter 3 Mechanisms. I am thoroughly impressed by the precision with which the ancients have built their contraptions. It appears that the temple which I am observing has a trap system meant to keep looters away. It must have been hundreds of years since the last ancient set foot in here, but the trap still works. Luckily, I've studied fire magic long enough to protect myself from the bolts hurled at me. Besides the trap, I'm researching a gate mechanism that's operated by the same sign crystals we've learned to make use of. Perhaps deciphering the nearby inscriptions will help me understand more on how the crystals function. I'm certain that their magical power is doubled by a sort of intelligent design or force. Perhaps an explosive? Maybe that's enough to build the bridge. There's definitely something down there, though. everything in here. Missing something.
Oh. Kind of a dumb head. Let's pretend like we did that the right way the first time. Might actually be enemies in here. That looks unpleasant. Are those apples? No, no, no. Not as good as my fungus, but pretty good nonetheless. And grapes. Big old cyan crystal. Uh, uh. Right. Rip piece of parchment rests on the stump. The writing looks shaky and distressed. She's dead. I found Mother Ava laying by her tree. A foul glass in her hand. Her skin was rippling with dark veins and her tongue was violet. The dwarves are not capable of such treachery and this poison looks far too sophisticated for the humans. The least I could do was bury her in the earth, so she may rest with her kin at last. But now I am headed for Vale. Which chieftain Zura will have some questions to answer? If you who did this returns here, you have my word that no hole will hide you from justice. Got the vine. Potion of stone skin. Four secrets in this level, we haven't found any of them yet. But trust me, I am looking. <laughs> well, chances are I've already passed one up, so. That's enough to build our bridge. Certainly can't think of anywhere else we'd retrieve anything from. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's something. Just save. guys are hiding around there. Can I do sneaky, sneaky punches? like the scene from Skyrim. Oh, I wish it was just a bear. A bear would have been better. It wasn't a bear. What's the choker or the beast? Oh. Oops. I hit the stone skin potion button. Potion of might. Hey, nice. Oh, need 
keep looking around. Oh, that's my stone again, potion. Hello? 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 Dead or alive? Like I'm probably not meant to be down here, but <laughs> neat that I survived that hit, though. Wonder if I could use a stone skin potion to. Frosty, no! Oh, Frosty. Put it away. I'm curious. <laughs> That was actually a really helpful secret, because I needed help. Oh, what the F? <laughs> bye bye! One of them's frozen. Damn. Just, uh, I, wanna, I think I might reload. Little saves coming here. I ate so many of those hits, it's not even funny. Ugh. <laughs> 
Excuse me. The dwarves win? Doesn't look like it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Holy Christ! What was that? <laughs> it was loud and scary. Mongers. Excuse me. Oh. There's a single iron boot. Hey. Okay. That looks promising. That doesn't look like it goes anywhere. It just looks promising. Oh, hi. Hi. No, it's okay. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hug. There was another healing potion over here. I'm going to go grab it real fast. Or no, did I grab it the first time? I guess I did. Okay. Stop moaning in my ear. Holy crap! Not allowed to do that either. Oscar! Timing's awful, honey. No, get get out of my milk bowl. Hi. You're a good cat, but you're a bad cop. There's more. Oh no! Bad doggy! This music is spooping me. No, no, no! Oh. <laughs> Ah, I should have saved it. Spooky music. Oh man, 
That's even worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not a good place to start out with low HP, I guess. I didn't expect to shoot myself in the face with a crossbow, did you? That's tactics. I'll try that again. <laughs> this is not working as well as I hope it will. Where's the other one at? You know what? Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna use up some stuff here. up somebody's day. Far, not doing too bad. Healing potion back here. Where'd you go? We weren't done yet. Or did she die? Nothing to smell. Ah. <laughs> I hear her, but I don't see her. Wait, no, 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 you said it saved. There we go.
you're reading this, then the orc trader must have fulfilled her task. Your duty is to finish any of the dwarven survivors who have not been affected by the poison. It will be easy to tell riches by the color of the tongue and the skin at a later stage. Once the healthy ones are dead, dump the tainted ones into the dungeon below the fortress and have it locked down. Don't visit back or let anyone else do, unless you wish for death. Oh, that's... horrible. Dwarven Society Introduction, a summary of the guilds. But the priests are not the only ones to assist the Dwarven Lord. Among these advisors are the masters of the four guilds. Their practical knowledge is essential in upholding the Dwarven Society. The Blacksmith Guild is composed of miners, smiths, and jewels crafters, all able to turn the lifeblood of dry rock into weapons, armors, ornaments, and various mechanisms and other mechanical wonders. The Carpenter Guild fosters woodcutters, locksmiths, and leather workers and tinkerers, able to shape the forest into a precise tool. Their ballistae and catapults are feared across all the battlefields. The Stonemason Guild trains master builders and engineers. Be it wells, keeps, towers, or bridges, the Singers of Stone are responsible for the backbone of our life and society, as well as our advancement. The Brewer Guild spreads our name across the land with their chefs, healers, and alchemists. It is also known that they dabble in the less honorable art of espionage, but their skill may be needed at times. Ah. Espionage. I like it. Ah! Turn it. You are a Dwarf Kingdom saving machine. <laughs> the Dwarf from God. Tales of Brother Bernard. Brother Bernard in Hell. <laughs> Okay, that escalated. In his search for the dry water and cold flame, Brother Bernard hath found himself lost in the pits of hell. The boiling tar and pungent sulf did not bear wealth with him, but alas, he could find the way back not. He daren't ask for indications from the sneering devils, lest they would trick him even further. Our brother hath pondered well over how could he elude this rotten chance. Thus he hath pulled a string from his satchel and began to measure hell left and right, hammering stakes into the ground. The lord of the devils, who hath been lurking within a puddle aside, would endure watching Brother Bernard no longer, as the seed of curiosity crawled hastily into his veins. What dost thou do here, fool? Why art thou measuring my fiefdom? asked the trickster. Why, I am wishing to build a temple here, would exclaim our crafty brother. Upon hearing his word, the devil's eyes hath grown red with angst. With a sharp whistle, he would urge his fellow tricksters to grasp Brother Bernard and throw him out. So hath he escaped the fiery hell. Clever. <laughs> I'm ever stuck in hell, I will threaten to build a church. I don't know if it'll work, but sure word for Bernard. 
kind of proud of that wee scamp. This is where we came in from, so... Hey, 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 hey. Some of the Craftsman's Guild. Do without the knives in my flesh. Hmm. So do I need to find the lever or do I need to make a leather? Lever. Oh, that's a ballista part. I saw the brewers hauling some new furniture in their tower the other day. The other day. I walked up to Torgrind and asked them what in the all hells is he doing with that orcish junk. He shrugged me off and told me it's stylish. More stylish than what we make? Next time he comes around asking for new kegs, make sure to point him to that bleeding elevator below and tell him to go ask orcs for help. Surely they can craft him some stylish L kegs too. Wow, somebody's really salty. Usually a better shot than this. So this is the forge. But I haven't picked up anything I can use yet inside hmm. this. Uh. 
Wow. I want to play Dwarf Fortress some more. Wait, what did you want me to read? Or just... Like, my reading in general. I can read this one again if this was it. Saw that brewers hauling some new furniture in their tower the other day. Walked up to Torgren and asked him what in the all hells is he think he's doing with that orc's junk. He shrugged me off and told me it's stylish. More stylish than what we make? Next time he comes around here asking for new kegs, make sure to point to that bleeding elevator below. Tell him to go ask orcs for help. Surely they can craft him some stylish L barrels, L kegs too. There you go. <laughs> Most people around here aren't that bad. Oh, man, I'm an idiot. Well, nah, maybe not. What does that do? <laughs> Here we go again. I'm pathetically lost. So, so she did fall through the roof. It's exactly what happened. Must have killed her. Thank you. Oh, it's holy water. Cause it's a church. You build one of these in hell, they'll kick you out. So we've got something to melt, but not sure how that's going to help us any in the long run. Of course, if we turn that into a lever. Yeah, Zan's actually pretty damn good at this. Gates open. Ugh. Eh. Just too held. I'm gonna go back around and get that potion that I know of. Shut up. <laughs> That's a bad doggy. Uh, uh. 
No, I'm not reforging the shards of Narsil. Alright, we have the axe key, which was upstairs here. Wrong. It's right here. Right, hold on on that one. These were the... Okay. Alright, so not hold on that one. We were going the right direction. And I imagine that that would be useful, but... Oh no! Oh no! You little, you little bastards, sickening our dwarves. Oh, that's not a good sign. They poisoned the well. Bastards. People poop in here. They poop in here. Be doing this. Closed until the Iron Division campaign ends. Elevator to Vail. this was a deathmatch level, I know I'd, where I'd be camping. Just listening for footsteps and... Oh no. Content ID. Looks like I gotta jump in the bullshit water. Oh, I do not like that at all. There we go. I don't know, you might, if you go down there, you might find some. Yeah, no joke. There's an axe and everything. It's like, man, if you really, like, stopped at the toilet that bad. I'm trying to, like, break it up with an axe. Hello? Ow. Son of a... Biscuit eater! Weak to talk, huh? I know, I'm angelic. Why don't I try to let him out? 
That's why. Because somebody broke the fucking switches again. <coughs> the dwarf tries to speak but fumbles into coughing. His dry tongue bears a slight purple tint. His brows narrow. He proceeds to mimic a drinking gesture and point towards above. Right. He's gonna die anyway, but... At least maybe I can get him something. Yeah. I just go ahead and drink that pint of mead instead of bringing it to my new dwarven friend. Job. Very rude and inconsiderate of you. Or maybe he's got an antidote upstairs, and that's what he's sending me off to do. Oh, excuse me. Sometimes freaking knives. A <laughs> holes. Tagged you first. guy must be from the Brewers Guild. This is a steel. Oh, the urinal. I guess it doesn't have to be a urinal, but... I mean, they do say that some beer tastes like piss. Maybe dwarves... This beer. Oh, this is a wonderful game. Ah, the keg of dragon brew. pee in this, and that's how you get above light. I'm gonna get content ID claimed by Bud Light now. By Budweiser. There you go, buddy. Drown that thing. <coughs> that hit the spot, I can feel it purging me veins. Thought she could do a lot drinking, didn't she? <laughs> Grass laughter. I've drunk far worse than her poison, though nothing ever made me see horned blue demons in orcish garb wandering about. Hey. I resent that. It's a half demon. Aye, it was one of your witch and sisters. Calls herself it. I can't do that. She came by a few days ago. This thing must have slipped something in our well. Almost everyone here was complaining about stomach cramps by the end of the day. Huh. I saw them, lass, screaming in pain, dark veins shifting under their skin. Then one of your lancers showed up at the fortress. Aye, and she was fuming. Said that she was going to burn that traitor alive and rush to the elevator. 
She couldn't aid us. We tried everything to help the sick ones. Nothing halted the poison. Well, apparently Dragon Brew would have. Huh. And then these bleeding cultists appeared out of nowhere. Hmm. It was a slaughter. Killed everyone who could hold an axe and threw the sick ones into the well. They would have thrown me as well had the tank claimed me sooner. My blood is slowing it down. Hmm. Listen, lass, you seem to be an honorable individual. Why don't we take why don't you take this elevator key and go get that traitorous winch and her lack lackeys? What they be asking for. Go quickly. Well, hopefully he don't die. <coughs> uh, I guess he's back on the mend. Wow, we didn't find any secrets. <sighs> There's gotta be something in this <sighs> level. <sighs> Well, I mean, I know for a fact that there is. But. Have we missed, like, every secret in this level without even finding one by luck? But yeah, all of my friends died. No, no, like, like straight up, though. That's the exit. Uh, right? Uh, There's a room here. A whole uh, room. Well, that has got to be the most unsecure grating in the world. I don't need money for anything. Hmm. Oh. Oh boy. Let's push all the numbers. Hmm. Oh man. I'm not leaving this level for a while, am I? Not when something like that's presented to me. Alright, is it going to be written down somewhere? Is it going to be a, uh, something I should notice about my environment? looking at that. <sighs> Not really keen on going back down there again. How do you know she's filthy? She might be completely clean. I mean, not clean of soul, obviously. But. to someone. Uh, 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 uh. 
Surely their security is about like it is anywhere in the world where someone has written a combination down on a piece of paper. Is this it? <sighs> yep. <laughs> At least it's on par with real life security. 1357. interested in what I'm going to find in here. This is exciting. But now I have to unpress all the buttons. Hmm. There's a magic rat in there. Again, too bad I can't use gold for anything. Please don't get under my foot. You will die. All right, that's one of four secrets. I'm just gonna have to call it on this one. We opened the vault. I'll take it. I will save the game here in its own save. Just so maybe in the future I can reload the save and try to find some more. Hello? Oh no! No, no! No, no, no! Let's go back up! Come on! Oh, fuck. Let's go back up! Back, back, back up! Let's go back up! on the secret though. Oh man. With a piercing metallic shrill, the lift plummeted into the abyss. It took no longer than seconds for a deafening thud to echo in the Bell's deserted caves as the falling mass of iron came to a shattering halt. Groaning in pain, the half-orc warrior cupped her head, ears still ringing with the sound of the violent landing. A few dusty coughs were all that would delay her now. 
At last, she is back into the mountain's bowels, close to the crystal heart, and even closer to the betrayer. She's half orc, half demon. It's dark. Dark AF. <laughs> Bloody Night lies by the dead witch. Lith has gone completely mad. She was behind the missing staff members in this dark slime. She somehow managed to make it grow and expand. For how long has she been doing this? Chieftain Zura is nowhere to be found, and the tech stops briefly. What the fuck? Humans, warping it everywhere. We've been betrayed. We are falling back to Ice Peak. Don't look like they quite made it to Ice Peak. <sighs> Unfortunately. Oh, gross. <sighs> yeah, but... Oh, that's that lady's leg! Oh my god! And the sci-fi shotgun was around here somewhere. Uh, there was a character at an earlier level who had lost their leg in a portal when it shut. Uh, that's the leg. A very applaudable <sighs> attention to detail there to include the actual leg. It's kind of hoping one of these would be a light switch. <sighs> Super quiet now. <laughs> well, fortunately, I do have to go to sleep soon, <laughs> as I have work in the morning. <laughs> And trying to get Zeglin to pay to pay all my bills so I can just do nothing but stream. But unfortunately I do have a day job. So I will have to go ahead and end the stream here. Usually my streams during the week like this tend to be shorter. Whereas on the weekend I have a little more leeway to stream longer, at least until I'm tired enough to stop streaming. I could definitely keep going right now, possibly through to the end of the game. But that would put me in a bit of a place tomorrow when I only have a few hours of sleep. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, look forward to streaming for you guys again. And I hope you all have a nice night. <laughs>